Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. It's your tech ninja Muhammad. So we are doing a basically by the title, you can see the title. Can we run PS2 games on an Android TV box? For my testing purposes, I'm having a B-Link TV box GT uh, GT1 mini version. Yes, GT1 mini version. Check this out. Check how small this thing is. Let me just take a smartphone. Check this out, ninjas. This is a TV box. This is the smartphone. It's like Look man, it's like a third of a smartphone man. How small this thing is bro. Check it out man. It's so small. It's so tiny. On my palm. Check it out the, the palm man. It's like half of my palm bro. Amazing man. This is amazing. This is the B-Link company for the first time I'm reviewing it. Can it run Damon PS2 promulated the latest version? Can it at all, run, at all run it? I don't care for the FPS or the performance. I just want to see can we run because this is going to be exclusively on my YouTube channel. So please make sure to check it. It has a Mali G31 2-core GPU and this is the M-Logic processor, quad-core processor S905X2 to be precise. I had to read it because this is the first time I'm not that really familiar with the M-Logic processors. Uh, this is the third time I'm even reviewing an Android TV box. I think so, the third time, yeah? I mean, it just... Uh, Quit talking, you can have the buying links below. I'm gonna also use a, a, a Ipega gamepad PG1999. This is my best and this is my personal gamepad. You can have it in the description, $25, $80. You can also get the two gigabyte RAM variant for $60. This one is four gigs of RAM, just the most expensive one. I got it. Amazing, man, let's begin, let's go. So let's begin immediately with some game here. Uh, let's run it in just a minute. Let's run it, bro. Oh, this is gonna be very interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen, just I don't know honestly what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know, can this processor even run PS2 emulator? But hey ho, let me just pause this loading screen. There we go. Anyway, ninjas, let's go now and load the state. Uh, I can load here the home page. Let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, so it's give us the uh, give us the warning. The EE speed tweak value is different between the emulator settings and save state. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let me just try to check it out, ninjas. Oh my god, oh my god, but let me just go to the uh, to the state, load state where the gameplay, the actual gameplay it is. It's gonna happen, again the same error. Let's see here, a bit laggy right now at the beginning, maybe we have to give it a try a little bit, let's see here. Oh my god, ninjas, but we are running, I don't care how laggy it is, but this is completely nuts, bro. I don't know, probably the more expensive uh, Android TV boxes could handle this uh, uh, Damon PS2 emulator, but exclusively for the first time ever in my life, I'm testing this Damon PS2 emulator on Android TV box using also a projector. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Check it out, ninjas. Obviously, this Damon PS2 Premulator, it's even laggy on many, many different Android smartphones and Android tablets uh, because it's optimized only for, mainly for kind of a very high uh, premium mid-range processor, but mainly the flagship processors like the Snapdragon 845 and 855. So again, this is completely shocking for me that this cheap Android TV box can run a Daemon PS2 Premulator. How cool is this, bro? Anyway, let me just try to maybe test another game. Uh, this is one of those most playable ones. Let's go to more heavier games. Let's see what's gonna happen with the heavier game. Um, let's test here downhill Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Let's see what's gonna happen with the Sagas. <laughs> Using also the Daemon PS2 Pro version 2.0, bro. And just here it goes, a smackdown, here comes the pain. <laughs> it's running even this game. It's running even this game, but I know it's really, you know, laggy, but ch check it out. <coughs> check it out, Ninja. Smackdown, here comes the pain on M Logic processor, bro. <coughs> this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Can I maybe lower the. Oh, that's better now a little bit. I'm gonna test more games, don't worry about it. Again, I'm testing these heavy games. They are uh, PC2 games, PS2 games, which are like 2D graphics. Which will run better. These are heavy, heavy games, bro. I tried to install Dolphin. Uh, Dolphin can't run, at least not the latest version. You have to uh, download yourself a different APK file. Older Dolphin version probably could uh, be able to run it on this processor. Anyway, let's go to the next game. So go with the mouse. I'm using also a mouse and a gamepad in the same time. 
Anyway, uh, we can check, let's see here, Resident Evil 4, these are all heavy, all heavy, heavy games, and just, these are all heavy, heavy games. What is this? This is uh, Devil May Cry 3, I think so. Let's check it out. Hey, everybody, just Devil May Cry 3 is also running. How crazy is this? <laughs> I know it is kind of running under 10 FPS, but this is completely impressive for me. God knows, maybe in a year or two, uh, this is gonna be playable on even on these kind of Android TV boxes processors. Like I said here, I never ever had something uh, like more expensive Android TV boxes. I already always had like t cheap TV boxes. So I don't know what, maybe Gearbest and Banggood are selling something really more expensive, like 200, 300 dollars. Uh, maybe, uh, you know what, I'm gonna try even to order it and check it out, bro. I should to do that. I don't know why I didn't remember earlier to do this thing. Because this is completely nuts for me that you are, you know, having uh, a PS2 console, basically consoles on your Android TV box. Crazy, bro, crazy. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> Devil May Cry 3 and which else I think I'm gonna also test uh, maybe another game just one more game and that's it that should be it but for now this is it I mean let's go now and exit uh, if you are interested we're gonna go to exit to menu again maybe this is not fake ninjas this is not streaming or something like that this is an actual I'm in Android TV box check it out bro oh let me put the brightness down damn this is bright there you go Check it out, I'm an Android TV box, this is an Amlogic Android TV box. I'm gonna even go right now and search it on your on the Chrome to show you. Here we go ninjas, this is this is the box, exact box here, the Android TV box. On Banggood it's a bit more expensive here, $91 for 4GB RAM variant, $72 for 2GB RAM variant. And what else we have, the 32 gigs of storage is $80. Anyway, uh, let me just go here and show you. Uh, on Ge Gearbest is the best deal right now, $77 on flash sale promotion. Don't miss this deal, ninjas, don't miss it at all. B-Link GT1 mini TV box with the voice remote, 4 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 64 gigs of storage, Android 8 Oreo, ninjas. 4K support, plus EU plug, this is with the EU plug. Love it, ninjas, love it, completely love it here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, go to down there, go down, yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. It's so small, man. It is so small, unbelievably small here. Beautiful memory, quad-core ARM, Cortex A53 CPU, GPU is G31, Mali G31, two-core GPU. So there you go, this is the GPU that I'm running right now, the Daemon PS2 Pro Emulator, Ninjas. Remember that, Mali GPU, G, 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 yo, G, G31. Anyway, let's go back to Daemon PS2 Pro Emulator. Remember, you're gonna have the buying links below. Ninjas, check it out! Check it out! Check it out, please! <laughs> oh my god, crazy! This game is also running. It's running around 10 FPS, but still crazy. This is completely crazy for me. So all games are running, bro. All games are running. They don't even have uh, glitches or bugs or stuff like that. They are just lagging, ninjas. They are, uh, of course, this is a uh, super cheap Android TV box, I repeat again. But all the games are running on a Damon PS2 Pro Emulator. It's not like they are, uh, you know, not running or not booting, uh, booting, or a lot, a lot of glitches or bugs. Exactly, even if they have bugs, you have, you have exactly the same bugs like you have with the Snapdragon 855 smartphones. Check it out, bro. Maybe it's this too, I think too bright. Can I put it down a little bit? Now it's better. Now it's better. Haha. <laughs> Make sure to check also my Android gaming review with this Android TV box. Uh, because I tested a few different games also. I tested, believe me or not, I tested even PUBG. Yes, I tested PUBG with this Android TV box. So check it out, check it out. I survive, will I survive? Ooh, I done it bro, 360 points. School mate. Fourteen FPS. Remember I'm using a gamepad? It got PG nineteen uh, ninety-nine. Check it out, so I'm gonna go right now left. Just a minute. Left. 
Now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Check it out. I stopped it. Come on, stop, stop, stop. See? I'm pulling down the trigger. Anyway, I'm gonna go left now. Again, trust me, ninjas, this is not fake or something like that. I'm not uh, streaming it or watching it on YouTube or so. I'm actually playing the Damon PS2 Premulator on this M-Logic uh, B-Link TV box. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed in this one. I don't know, will I, shall I test another game? I think you get the point here. There's no, I mean, you get the point here. Like I said here, you could uh, get yourself some uh, PS2 games which will be more playable. These are all heavy, heavy games, ninjas. Remember that. And most of, like 99% of the games are optimized only for the flagship. You'll have to wait a little bit more until they optimize it for low-end and mid-range processors. And specifically also, spe especially for example, Android processors. Processors which you can find only Android TV boxes, not in, boxes, not on, on, in uh, smartphones. Anyway, uh, Tekken. Let's just tech, check Tekken 5. This is also a very heavy, heavy game, uh, but we're gonna <laughs> test it. <laughs> I love to, you know, use the Austro Aussies uh, accent on saying heavy. Anyway, uh, let's go now, uh, or New Zealand. Anyway, let's see here to load, load the page. Checking out, so I'm gonna test here the practice mode. Ninjas, this uh, Tekken 5, it is heavy, heavy game. And even Snapdragon, even Kirin 980 example, Huawei smartphones can't handle this. They are super, super laggy. This game is super, super laggy even on Kirin processors. Uh, only so far that it's optimized, it's only optimized for the Snapdragon processors this game. Which I noticed. I'm gonna check it just for one minute and finish this video. Finalize this video. Can you just, you can see by itself, very very laggy ninjas. Unfortunately, it has kind of that, those kind of issues, uh, like a freeze bug or something like that, which uh, Kirin smartphones have. And uh, yeah, Kirin processors, you can see by itself, you can see, freezes, kind of freeze bugs. But anyway, it's running in the game, bro. Uh, but you're not gonna be able to play it, honestly, because of this freeze lag and this kind of a bug. Anyway, uh, I'm, this is it. Uh, Mohammed is signing out with this exclusive and very, very shocking result that the Damon PS2 Pro Emulator is running on Android TV Box B-Link G. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!